this is it. The final stretch of our 2000 mile road trip to Sturgis and I had mixed emotions. Even though I was excited for the rally, the previous five days on the road were some of the best days of my life and it was all coming to an end. When we set off on this trip, what I was looking forward to the most were riding through places like Joshua Tree, Sedona, the Grand Canyon, Monument Valley, the Million Dollar Highway, and Pikes Peak. What I cherished the most were the moments that happened in between, like lane splitting on these huge bikes in California, surviving a desert storm in Arizona, that amazing breakfast we had in Sedona while overlooking the Red Rock, going from seeing my first elk to dodging one, the many gravel roads we rode on, waking up to those beautiful views in Gunnison, Colorado, and many other moments that weren't caught on camera. The last leg of the trip was from Denver to Sturgis, which isn't the most scenic, and the temperature got up to the triple digits that day. Luckily, we had good company. My boy Levi let us crash in his place the night before, and his crew met up with us the next day to ride into Sturgis. These guys do this every year, so they have this route dialed. After some breakfast in Cheyenne, Wyoming, we continued on to Sturgis. The heat was brutal. It almost felt like a test we had to endure before enjoying the Black Hills. The guys made sure to do regular stops, not only for gas, but so we could hydrate and cool off as well. Of course, the day couldn't end without some construction on the road. Not long after that, we made it into South Dakota. Official baby, made it to f***ing Sturgis. <laughs> five days on the road? Yeah, five days on the road. Five Finally. days on the road. Hey. We got Papi Chula. Made it. it. It doesn't get better than this. After a long, hot day, made it to the cabin here in Leed, South Dakota. Can't believe I'm saying that. After 2,000 miles on the road, we finally made it. And this spot is pretty badass. You couldn't have scripted a better ending to this trip. A beautiful cabin in the middle of the Black Hills, a group of great friends, some drinks, barbecue. What more can you ask for? So how was my Sturgis motorcycle rally experience? Well, you come to Sturgis for two things, the parties and the amazing riding. We made sure we did both the next four days. Needles Eye Tunnel was the number one thing I wanted to do while in Sturgis. 
I couldn't believe it was actually happening. Now, if you ask me what was my favorite, it has to be Iron Mountain. The split roads and pigtails are insanely fun. So, after 2,100 miles, finally made it to our last hotel of the trip. After unloading the bike one last time, we headed to the Indian Motorcycle Ambassador Homecoming event. What are we doing, Elvis? It's <laughs> raining! This was a trip of a lifetime and I'm eternally grateful for everyone that made this possible. First, I want to thank Qualock for their support. This trip would not have been possible if it wasn't for them. Thank you. Second, I want to thank Revzilla for the amazing gear they sent me for this trip. I also want to thank Chelsea and everyone at Indian Motorcycle for everything they did to make this trip possible, like flying us out to California, supplying us with these bikes, and an awesome hotel in Rapid City. Thank you, Cardo, as well. Being able to communicate with John the whole time was a game changer. I also want to thank John for booking the hotels and taking care of a lot of the logistics. Can't wait for the next one, brother. Thank you to my wife as well for her unconditional support and for being my number one fan. And last but not least, I want to thank you, the people that watch these videos. 
None of this would be possible without your support. It took a lot of work and time to put these together, but your feedback makes it all worth it. If you missed any of the episodes, make sure to check out the playlist linked in the pinned comment. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the series. If you did, make sure to click that like button, subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace. Man, this is it. How is it that we get so emotionally attached to these bikes? Freaking love this bike, man. I'm gonna miss you.